Hi, my name is Kitty, and let me show you what kind of magical visuals we create with the Nanlite 60C. Let's get into it. When I first unboxed it, I noticed how small it actually is. It's actually the same dimensions as my phone, but obviously not the same thickness, but you get the point. I wanted to see how much power this little guy had, and I'm actually shockingly surprised. I wanted to do a magic theme because I recently watched The Sound of Magic, and I was really inspired by this. It talked about society's reality and our dreams, and it also asked the question, why adults who are more childlike are thought of as outcasts. Personally, I've been feeling like I've lost touch with my fun inner child, so I wanted to use this shoot to express that further. To do this, I wanted to play with fun colors, which is perfect because the Nanlite 60C has RGB. Magicians are also colorful characters who have a young heart and are a little bit mysterious, so I also wanted to go off that theme. The 60C comes with a Bowens mount adapter which allows you to attach it to various other modifiers. So we used it to connect to our projector attachment, which is like a big magnifying glass which concentrates the light to a certain degree. I wanted to create a fun, colorful backdrop and pick this gobo shape with the light purple hue. We pointed this high at an angle behind the talent. It's normally just a big white wall, so it definitely added a little fun element to the performance and something you don't normally see. Here's a before and after we made for TikTok. We used the Nanlite Pavo Tube 2 30X with barn door attachments to help shape the light to direct it more on his hands and a little less on his face to add dimension. Shaping the light is fun because you can direct an audience's eyes to a certain part of the frame. In this case, it was on his hands because that's where the magic was taking place. For the opening shots, we used fog to create some hazy textures to allow you to see light rays in the space. This also creates a sense of mystery to our character. When you have fog or smoke, you need to backlight it to see it properly. For the first shot and the smoke on his fingertips, I had the color blue, then had an orange hue for his face reveal. We had the included 45 degree beam spread attachment to make it more directional. For the walking shot, I needed it low, so I attached it to the battery grip handle, which also has these little mini feet to hold it up. Add a couple of NPF batteries, and now it's wireless too. Lastly, we used it as a way to play with hand shadows, which reminded me of Peter Pan and his shadow. It's like the shadow is its own character. Again, we use a 45 degree beam spread attachment, which you could also call a snoot, which is a cylinder or a tube. This creates hard light to make hard shadows, and it also gives a spotlight effect like we were on stage. This time we went with a pink color. I needed more pink on his hand, so we used the Pavo Tube 2 6C with the same color so it looked believable that the shadow was coming from his hand when in reality it was someone else. This took many takes to get right, but it was a fun idea to try. Here's some bloopers. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Can I see your head? <laughs> it's gonna be a while. That's a little off. <laughs> Go down. So you gotta just stick it out like this, but then your arm's going this direction. You need to move in more. So I literally need you like this, like straight up. You keep going like in this direction. Like three, one, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, that's three, open. one. You went too <laughs> early too. It's on three. Peace sign. <laughs> I don't know how to time the peace sign. Three, one, two, three. One, peace two, sign. Three. That's the one. See? Yeah, that's a good sync right there. And then peace sign do. That's not a peace sign. <laughs> I love how versatile this little guy is. 
You can change it to any color you want, which is so fun for vibrant shoots. Someone could hold it and go wireless with the battery grip. You also have the Bowens modifiers to open up its uses as well. It's so compact that you could mount it pretty much anywhere. We made magic happen with the Nanlite 60C. It reminded me why making videos is so exciting in the first place. And I know my younger self would be very proud and quite jealous that I get to do this today. Thanks Nanolite for letting us have fun on this shoot. It's done.